Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids and today I want to talk to you about this which is an EDC organizer pouch. It's coming to us from Roaring Fire. So I tested out one of their backpacks not too long ago. Um, this is called the Ember EDC organizer. You can get it in this tan. You can also get it in black as well. And what I'm going to show you is how I've organized some EDC gear. Now this is not an organizer that I keep on me all day long but I like to have gear organized so that if I forget a knife, if I forget a, fla if I forget a flashlight, if I forget a, a pen, I've got a place where I can grab it. So this is the type of thing you could keep in your car, you could keep it in the office. Um, I'm, I've always got a backup when it comes to um, a couple basics from my everyday carry and this is one way that you can organize that gear. So I'll give you a rundown on some of the details on the actual pouch and then I'll show you what's inside here. All right, so some of your details, your measurements are seven and a half by six by 1.25. Comes in weighing without any gear in it at 5.3 ounces. The, they do use 1000D Cordura. You can see the little label right there. Um, it does look like it's a, it's double stitch. It may be triple stitch as well as far as at your connection points. You can see you've got some Molly on the front. You do have these bungees as well. And then on the back you've got molly so you can use um, various attachment mechanisms to attach it to a bag or to a pack or something like that if you want to do so. YKK zippers, uh, which is good. You do this off the, uh, the poles there, which is nice. You got some extra cordage there. Let me uh, readjust the camera now and actually show you what's inside my pouch. All right, let's start over here on the left. You can see I've got my Spectacle Manix 2. Very lightweight knife, so that's good to uh, just have a lightweight knife that's available all the time in case I forget my knife. You can see I've got a large fire rod from uh, Exotac. I'm not planning on needing a fire rod for everyday carry purposes in general, but sometimes I'm out working on a video and I've got to use a fire steel, so now I've got one in case I didn't bring with one with me to shoot the uh, to shoot the video. Down here you can see I've got a rip spool. This is from Exotac as well. So duct tape, you've got some cordage, and then inside there's a needle, which is nice. you got some uh, cordage here as well. I do have a very small driver here. And this is for repairing um, knives or having to disassemble knives. So I got those, um, I call them star bits. I feel like there's another name for them. I'm blanking on it right now. But anyhow, there's that. I've got a pen here so I can, uh, you know, take notes. In the back here, I do have a notepad. And then this is a i5T EOS from... Oh, light, great little EDC light. Again, the idea here is not to carry this stuff all the time, but I go to the office and I realize I forgot my pocket knife and my flashlight. Now I've got a backup because I keep this, you know, in my office, in my car, whatever it is. Over here, I've got another pen. This is from Schrade. It's a tactical pen, um, just a very solid pen. You could carry it for self-defense and it, the, the pen works well. Um, tiny little flashlight. This is the, um, is it the Tiki? I can't remember the name of this. Yeah, Tiki from Nightcore. So a little keychain light. Over here, I've got, this is a Duke Cannon, Cannon Balm 140. So it's basically, um, it's got, excuse me, <clears throat> SPF 30, and it's also basically just lip balm. So in the winter seasons, when I want to have some chapstick with me, I got that. And then I've got my special, this is from, uh, this is a Going Gear exclusive, I think, from a while ago. This is an Osborne 940 from um, Going Gear and Benchmade. So I've got that. I just realized that I have two, um, two driver kits. This is a Benchmade driver kit as well, so obviously I don't need two of them. But you can see what I've got here basically are things, you know, just in case. And it's not like a survival kit. It's not an emergency kit. It's just like, oh, yeah, I forgot to bring my flashlight, my pen, my knife. Oh, I'm working on a video. I don't have a fire still. Oh, now I have one there. So that's everything that I keep inside. As far as the actual bag, you can see you've got a slot back here, a slot back here. You've got a lot of different, you know, um, this is elastic. So you've got one, two, three, four. One, yeah, no, one, two, three across the front, I guess, or four, no, one, two, three, four across the front, two larger ones in the back, four on the bottom, three over here, one, two, three, four. You just got a lot of different ways to organize your gear. You do have the lanyard as well. So, yeah, I mean, this is a great way to, to keep your EDC gear organized. Certainly, you can make a fire kit, a small med kit, and other things uh, with, this, uh, with this organizational system. On the outside, you can see I do have the M1T Raider Plus from Olight. That's if I want an EDC light that's a little bit bigger. And then on the back here, I've got some hand sanitizer. And then these are basically like rollable um, sunglasses. And if you've ever been in a situation where you're like, I really need sunglasses and I forgot them, um, it's just a bummer to have that happen. So that's what I have on the outside of the, uh, of the pouch. I do want to note, you can obviously put slide things through the Molly. And then this section here, let me just show you real quick. You can actually run something through the back there if you wanted to. Obviously, you can put patches or things there. 
and then you can attach something underneath the, uh, the bungee cord on the back. You could run things through that Molly as well. Like I said, you can get this in tan and black as well. At the time of this video, they're running around 26 bucks. I will tell you, when I first started working with Roaring Fire and seeing some of their gear, I was a little bit skeptical, but I have looked at quite a few pieces of their kit, and um, it's, it's nicely made. Like I said, like at least double, maybe triple stitched, which is good. Long-term use, we'll see. But again, I've seen companies out there that they put together a very similar product and it's single stitch and it just falls apart quickly. So we're looking at $26, $27 for these right now at the time of this video. Uh, check the description section. I'm going to see if I can get a discount code for you so you can uh, get a discount on these items. But um, I made a video, I don't know, two years ago, three years ago, um, working with Optics Planet and I talked about an EDC backup kit and people were like, you carry 10 knives with you? You carry four flashlights? The point was not to say I carry all those things all the time, but maybe I'm in a situation where I want a brighter flashlight or a less bright, bright flashlight, something I can use more aggressively for a knife, something less aggressively. Um, it's, it's nice to have options out there, basically, and so it's not stuff I carry with me every second of the day, but it's stuff that I have accessible to me if I want to swap something out for, for you know, a different item. So, uh, so yeah, Roaring Fire, the EDC, the Ember EDC organizer. And uh, links are down below in the description section and check them out. Feel free to ask questions or leave comments down below in the comment section. All right, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.